welcome to universe and yes i talk slow i shuffle slow but i do hope you tap your energy with mine like share subscribe represent your tribe in the comment section down below always remember time is fluid energies are interchangeable feel free to flip the script this is a general reading and will not resonate with every aquarius out there so take what fits and don't insist what doesn't kindly do check your moon rising and your venus placements maybe you will resonate there better let's begin okay aquarius first i'm gonna draw your overall mood for july 2020 first half first half july 2020 overall mood please angel spirits and guides help me see clearly Ta -da! Someone's happy. Hop, hoppy. Someone's happy. Hmm. Angel spirits and guides, please help me see clearly what messages needs to come through for Aquarius. First half of July 2020. Messages that needs to come through for Aquarius. Uh, first half of July 2020. First half of July 2020. My angel spirits and guides, please help me see clearly. Okay. Four of Cups. You are not any more disappointed about something. If something has caused you a lot of disappointment in the past, you are not any more disappointed about that. You don't want to any more deal with that disappointment. Hmm. And I, when I first shuffled your cards, I just saw the Six of Swords, which means that you already moved on from this situation. Seven of Wands. See? In the past, okay, in the past, you felt like you have to constant, constant, constantly protect your space constantly guard your heart that's what i see constantly guard your how do you say this relationship your job whatever it is it feels like you have to constantly protect it in the past and that's why you're really disappointed about something but now you don't want to deal with it the lover's card It may be, maybe Aquarius, you don't want to, I just saw that you don't want to deal in this, you know, you just want to move on from something, you just want to let go and let loose and, you know, move on from this disappointment, the disappointment that this person caused you because you feel a very strong soul tie connection with this person that's how i feel like you could be dealing with a gemini scorpio pisces cancer aries leo sag well okay okay oops it aries taurus virgo capricorn you got the emperor and the queen of coins so uh huh no it's empty. yeah okay so here's the thing you want to be the one to control the situation because you don't anymore want to look back to the disappointment that this person cost you rather you place your energy into something more how do i say this something more stable something uh how do i say this uh, um so you you took over the situation right and now you are trying to focus on something else not on the disappointments not on this thing here it's not anymore you don't want to look back 
at that. Though you may sometimes revisit the feeling, but I see that whatever it is, you are diverting your attention into something like gaining no no like income generating income generating or more focusing on your career on your job on opportunities that will help you grow not just grow as a person like it could also be growth uh, when it comes to opportunities, when it comes to business, when it comes to, you know, gaining a better and much stable financial situation. I don't know how to say that. But yeah, that's it. And because you see, look at her. Look at the... Queen of Coins. It's like she's okay. Let me see. Let me. Oh, I will let you see. Let me see you. <laughs> what am I talking about? Let me. Uh, you know. Ah, I don't know how to say this anymore. But look at her. It's like I don't care. I got money. You know. I love myself. And you know things like that i'm stable so i don't want to look back at the disappointment that i had well let's find out what this disappointment is all about why is this four of cups in reverse for aquarius my angel spirits and guides this one this is the one oh my gosh this is a repetitive message can see the four of cups and the what is this oh my gosh the four of cups uh the four of cups and the five of cups are all in reverse both they are both in reverse so you know you really are not anymore into the energy of being disappointed see whatever that situation is aquarius it gave you a lot of anxiety stress uh maybe you you were overthinking a lot about that situation you cried a lot maybe some of you even got depressed overthinking about this I can't really find it yet here. What's this all about? But it just keeps on telling me that you were you were disappointed, but now you just want to let it all go. You just want to let it all go. Why is the 7 of wands here in reverse for Aquarius? 7 of wands. Oopsie. Could be dealing with a Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Because maybe the reason why you got disappointed about this person is because you feel, you feel that something is unfair. Like someone treated you unjustly. Wow. Thank you for helping me say that. But that's what I saw someone treated you unfairly unjustly there's no balance in the situation or in the relationship but now see because this is the imbalance but look at where this knight of cups is looking not anymore from here right not anymore looking towards the direction of the injustice that has been done right he is now looking forward looking somewhere else i don't want to deal with that anymore right you are so basically oh okay before i say what i'm about to say uh why is this emperor and queen of coins here 
Aquarius, Emperor, and Queen of Coins. Okay. Okay. So, Aquarius. When this day comes, when this day comes that you have already gained control over the situation, when you are any... Uh, when you are already feeling that you are self-sufficient, when you are working more on the stability, when it comes to your finances, I said that right, okay? Your finances, not the both of you, not your finances. I mean, as a couple, only yours, yours only. You step in your own power, feeling that self-love, that yes, I am sufficient. Yes, I am enough. I don't need these disappointments to ruin my life. That's when this person realizes that, oh my gosh, I think my Aquarius is gonna abandon me. I think she's gonna leave me. Why now that she already had a glow up? Why now? Why does she, she need or he need to? Why now that he... Oh my gosh, I don't know how to say this. But why now? Now that you Aquarius are already like... You know... Glowing up. Glowing up. This person is gonna feel like you have abandon them for life and Aquarius look at this it's the four of wands which is the marriage card stability card wish fulfillment card 11 11 card so yeah yes now I get it why you are this happy because you gotta you get this wish fulfillment and you know, maybe some of you will just feel self-sufficient, you know, like I don't need a partner. Because you see here, some of you are like, I don't need a partner, bye-bye. And the other person is like, uh, oh, Aquarius left me, why? He's really pretty now. He is really handsome now. Okay, let's draw you advice advice for Aquarius advice for Aquarius <gasps> okay. okay here's the thing Aquarius so you're disappointed then let me let me reap play this scenario you were the best you were disappointed about something right because you were treated unfairly and all this stuff here you feel the situation is unfair and now that you're having this very great glow up when it comes not only to your physical attributes but also when it comes to your finance ability you will your person will feel will feel that he or she has been abandoned, right? But the angels are telling you that could be dealing with Scorpio, and uh, yeah. they are telling you that you shouldn't end this. This is just a phase you need. You need. You need to get through. But the re the relationship or the connection won't stop there. Just because you feel self-sufficient, just because, because the other person feels like, what I say, it's like he or she has been abandoned. But death is ending, right? Endings. And the fool is beginnings. So seeing that there is no ending and there is no beginning, basically, you will you are still in this connection you will still be in this connection 
And do you remember the figure for the, what do you call this? For the uh, four of wands, the marriage card. It's like this, right? Like this. Yeah. And this is a justice card. So maybe you will end up marrying this person, Aquarius. You just have to relay. This is communication card, the eight of wands. You know, when things get rough, when you get disappointed about something, when your person treats you unjustly, you just have to communicate that to your person so that you can fix it. Because em Emperor, they are fixers, right? And the Queen of Coins. I just saw like Tinkerbell. I don't know why. But it's like fixers. They are not the fixer fixers that we know, but like fixers as in builders, rebuilders. Do you? See, there's a lot of love in this connection, Aquarius, and forward movement. See, so I think you will end up with this person. Hmm. Well, I hope this resonates or this gave you clarity on your situation. Thank you. Take care because I care. Talk to you soon. Bye.